It is barely a week after state prosecutors went on a sit-down strike over demands for a pay increment. Now the judiciary is threatening to follow suit. During an extraordinary assembly at the High Court in Kampala, the judicial officers unanimously voted in favor of going on strike if government does not meet their demands. If by the 23rd of August this year, government has not positively responded to a memorandum, then our industrial action will formally kickstart. Uganda Law Society has for a very long time been concerned about the treatment, the ill treatment method to the third arm of government. Principal Judge Yorokamba Mwine, who represented the Chief Justice, faulted the government for failing to improve their welfare. I wrote to the Prime Minister over the continued marginalization of the judiciary by government. This is not acceptable. They set the terms on their salary increments in a memorandum of Uganda Judicial Officers Association. Which sets out the core demands as salary enhancement, medical insurance, or call it allowance, transport for judicial officers, housing allowance, and provision of security. 55 million is not, is befitting of the Chief Justice of Uganda. An official from the Judicial Service Commission stunned the judicial officers when he announced the increment that the government was offering them. The Honorable the Chief Justice, who currently earns uh, 20 million shillings, uh, will be earning 26 million. They rejected a government proposal. judge is hearing it for the first time. The Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs, Kahindo Tafire, who was the chief guest, arrived late for the meeting. So ladies and gentlemen, we are working on a scheme to improve your pay. When? As soon as the money is available. <laughs> <laughs> Otafire's message was not present either. He requested for more time to look into their demands. Government has taken a position that we should rationalize all pay across the board. I am negotiating and need competing priorities. The Minister of Energy wants to build dams. To generate electricity in order to encourage... Yes, listen. And we are looking to... Into, hey. Now, where? Now, now, I'm glad it's from a lady. Honestly, I'm, I'm glad. Sure, honestly, when you conceive today, you can't deliver tomorrow. <laughs> you, you have much as you've been praying. Shh. Much as you've been praying to God for the last 10 years for a child. When you finally get this opportunity, you have to wait another nine months to get this child. The minister surprised the judicial officers when he told them that the state prosecutors compelled him to address their pay demands after issuing a three-month ultimatum. I was accused of inciting them. They said, ah, this is the very money has been, he's been asking, you know, and we think he's using his old uh, tactics to, to get hard. The standoff is likely to throw the country into a crisis if the government does not promptly address the matter. Jingo Francis. NTV.